How's it going, people? Well, I just got through reading section seven of the DNC, and it, it was just so amazing, you know, about John the Beloved is immortal. So that's obviously Joseph Smith. Uh, Notice those same passages a lot of us did where J.C. incorrectly prophesied, prophesied that all that shit was going to happen within a generation. <laughs> Instead, we get a bunch of immortals walking around. Or just a, I guess the wandering Jew is John. So that narrows it down. No, that, it, that legend's different, so... And I'm a fan of the Barry Sadler Casca series. So, there's all kinds of variations on this shit. Eight. Section eight. Of the DNC. Let's get this over with. Revelation. Given through Joseph Smith. The prophet. To Oliver Cowdery. His scribe. And cousin. Funny though, know, they go out, don't go out of the way to mention that. At Harmony, Pennsylvania, April, sometime in April, uh, 1829. So around, sometime around the time of the last time. All right. In the course of the translation of the Book of Mormon. Oliver, who continued to serve as scribe, writing at the prophet's dictation, desired to be endowed with the gift of translation. The Lord responded to his supplication by granting this revelation. <sighs> the spirit of revelation is defined. And the gift of Aaron specified. So that's what Section 8's all about. Let's check it out. One. But first... I got one one chub left. Virtual planetoid. Now it's recyclable. One, Oliver Cowdery, Verily, Verily, I usually drink the double Verilys, <sighs> wow, I say unto you, that assuredly, as the Lord liveth, who is your God? And your Redeemer from himself. There are some rules that need to be obeyed. Blood must be shed, or it don't work. That voodoo shit that you do makes perfect sense if you were indoctrinated. All right. Your God and your Redeemer, even so surely shall you receive a knowledge of whatsoever things you shall ask in faith, 
So if your faith ain't perfect, you might have fucked the spell up. And the magic that just didn't work, and it's your fucking fault. So don't bitch. If it doesn't work, it's your fault. You didn't have enough faith. So the magic failed because of you. All right, we get it. With a honest heart. I do have an honest heart. <laughs> Believing that you shall receive a knowledge concerning the engravings of old records. That would be this book. Sorry, it weighs a ton. It's solid gold. <laughs> and a little overwritten. <laughs> Which are ancient. Yeah, if 1829 is ancient. <laughs> which contain those parts of my scripture of which has been spoken by the manifestations of my spirit. Two, yea, behold, I will tell you in your mind and in your heart or at least one of those. By the Holy Ghost, which shall come upon you, and which shall dwell in your heart. So that's where we're going. Not this. this. Just feel the force, Luke. Three. Now, behold, this is the spirit of revelation. Behold, this is the spirit by which Moses brought the children of Israel through the Red Sea on dry ground. Four. Therefore, this is thy gift. Apply unto it, and blessed art thou, for it shall deliver you out of the hands of your enemies. When, if it were not so, they would slay you and bring your soul to destruction. They'd kill your soul, too? I've heard of that shit. Wow. They totally annihilate a dead person. Now they're really dead. Oh, no! <laughs> Apparently, people are usually only partially dead. They're dead, but they, they, they're still around. And they took their clothes with them. Most of the time. <sighs> Five. Oh, remember these words. And keep my commandments. Remember, this is your gift. Thanks. That's it, huh? Wait, let's see. Uh, six. Now, this is not all thy gift. I was, I was hoping it would get a little better. For you have another gift. If you call right away, operators are standing by. 
which is is the gift of Aaron. That would be Moses' brother or stepbrother or something. I don't know. Behold, it has told you many things. Okay. Seven. Behold, there is no other power save the power of God that can cause this gift of Aaron to be with you. Yeah. All right. Eight. Therefore, doubt not. For it is the gift of God, and you shall hold it in your hands and do marvelous works. And no power shall be able to take it away out of your hands, for it is the work of God. That should be enough. Nine. And, therefore, whosoever you shall ask me to tell you by that means, that will I grant unto you, that will, uh, and you shall have knowledge concerning it. Um, anybody? Ten. Remember that. Without faith, you can do nothing. Therefore, ask in faith. You gotta believe it before you believe it. And then you'll believe it. Believe it. Trifle not with these things. Too late. Do not ask for that which you ought not. What the fuck does that mean? You tell them to ask for anything, then you tell them not to ask for what they ought not. What the fuck? Uh, 11. Ask that you may know the mysteries of God and that you may translate and receive knowledge from all those ancient records. <laughs> Which have been hit up, like under a rock in upstate New York, on a hill where a whole bunch of battlefields and thousands of people died with armor and swords, and nobody's found shit. No bones, no armor, no swords, no arrowheads, no coins, nothing, zip, nada, but kiss. Bub kiss? Wait. I gotta stay away from Yiddish. <laughs> They're gonna get pissed at me anyway. Record. <laughs> that are sacred. This is sacred. That's why it needed to be gold. And according to your faith shall it be done unto you. 
So if you believe in the magic real strong, real with all your might, and fuck reality, and you click your ruby slippers together and all that shit, sometimes the magic works. All right. Twelve. Behold, it is I that have spoken it, and I am the same that speak unto you from the beginning. Amen. <sighs> Let's see. Let's do nine. Section nine. Guess I'm not done with this. Revelation given through Joseph Smith the prophet to his cousin, to Oliver Cowdery, at Harmony, Harmony Pennsylvania, April 1829. Oliver is admonished to patience. I wonder why. And is urged to be content to write for the time being. At the dictation of the translator, being Joseph Smith, Joseph Smith Jr., the prophet. Really? <sighs> Rather than to attempt to translate. That means he, except through the power of God, he can't see the real plates. He doesn't get to have the magic seer stone. He probably doesn't even get to borrow Joseph Smith's hat. Because that might be a magic hat by now. Oh shit, I talked out my CD. Start over. Uh, Oleg, somebody. Link below. Uh, free download. Mitchin. There it is. All right. It is not sufficient for one merely to ask for a d divine gift. Oh. Oh, it sounded so perfect before. Now there's a catch or two. Or a dozen, or a thousand, uh, or it's all bullshit. No, it can't be that. Yeah, somehow it's real, but it just doesn't work most of the time. <laughs> Without prayerful thought and study. See, you have to be sufficiently brainwashed before you can do this. Otherwise, you might ask for shit that... You, you might ask for the wrong stuff. Like, practical shit. <sighs> Oliver loses such small measure of the gift of translation. Damn it, Oliver! You let us down. As he had temporarily possessed. Oh, let's hear about it. One. Behold. I say unto you, my son, that because you did not translate according to that which you desired of me, and did commence to write for my servant 
Joseph Smith Jr. Even so, I would that ye should continue until you have finished with this record. I would that ye should continue until you have finished this record. This one. Which I have entrusted unto him, being Joseph Smith. Junior <sighs> two, and then behold, other records have I that I will give unto you power that you may assist to translate. Three, be patient, my son. For it is wisdom of me, and it is not expedient that you should translate at this present time. Probably his fault. Yeah, he fucked up somehow. Four. Behold, the work which you are called to do is to write for my servant, Joseph. <clears throat> Hang on. Uh. <clears throat> Five, and behold, it is because that you did not continue as you commenced. Okay. When you began to translate, that I have taken away this privilege. Six, do not murmur, my son. Don't be a bitch about it. Don't be a baby. Take it like a man. Since he said my son, I figure. <sighs> oh, that's it. All better. Ah. <sighs> For it is wisdom in me that I have dealt with you after this manner. Behold, you have not understood. You have supposed that I would give it unto you. But it just said, ask and you'll be given. What did I do wrong? <laughs> I knew there was a catch. There's always a catch. Damn it. Eight. But behold. I say unto you that you must study it out in your mind. Then you might ask me if it be right. Yeah, I heard that one. And if it 
is right, I will cause that your bosom shall burn within you. Yeah, I heard that one too. Therefore, you shall feel it is right. Yeah, there's parts of this too. I forgot where they're at, but I've dealt with this. Brainwashing. You'll feel it, and that's enough evidence. Nine. But if it be not right, you shall have no such feelings. But you shall have a stupor of thought. I thought that was the old chub. I'm feeling a little stewed right now. That shall cause you to forget the thing which is wrong. And what was that again? Nothing in the footnote. Therefore, you cannot write that which is sacred shall it be given you from me. Ugh. So, so much for that, Oliver. You're just not cut out to be a prophet. Maybe a saint. You could be Saint Ollie. <laughs> saint Ollie. I don't know. I prefer uh, the Laura, the guy from Lauren Hardy instead. <laughs> Oliver. Um, ten. There we are. Ten. Now, if you have known this, you could have translated. Nevertheless, loser. Oh, I added that part, sorry. Uh, it is not expedient. You're a little slow. That you should translate now. Boy, he just keeps going on about that. I guess that's pretty much what Section 9 is about. Fuck you, Oliver. Keep translating. Keep you're, you're just writing the words down, you know? Just listen to the guy with the hat covering his face because he's looking through his rock. And he could read some gold plates in another room. I guess. Uh, Eleven. Behold... It was expedient when you commenced, but you feared, and the time has passed. Damn it. And it is not expedient now. Twelve. For do you not behold that I have given unto my servant Joseph? Sufficient strength, whereby it is made up. Wait, it's made up. Sufficient strength, whereby it is made up. I'm sure I'm taking that out of the context. Verse 12 of section 9. I've got to remember to highlight that part. And neither shall you have I, and, and neither of you have I condemned. That's nice. Fuck you anyway. Whoever's talking here. 
13. Ah, that's better. Do this thing which I have commanded you, and you shall prosper. Be faithful. And yield to no temptation. 14. Stand fast in the work where which I have called you. And a hair of your head shall not be lost. Fuck you. <laughs> Is that for my lack of faith? You shall be lifted up at the last day. Amen. I don't know about that last part, but I'll take the hair. <laughs> anyway, that's it for uh, Section 9. And I think that's about all I can take for one night. So, that's it. Peace. The fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having chime in. Let me know what you think of that.